Hi, I'm Justin Conway. I'm going to describe how to uh, turn all of the colors in a photo black and white or gray, uh, except for grayscale, except for one, and have that one color really pop out. Uh, this, is, this is something that you uh, may have seen in uh, the movie Sin City. It's um, something that sort of uh, creates a, a very stylized image and really makes something stand out. It makes uh, everything in the background sort of get, get sort of drowned by the colors that are bursting through. So um, this is a very complicated procedure, but I'll kind of cover a basic way to do it in a image uh, right now. So here's a picture of me with a uh, blue, light blue collared shirt and a blue tie. Let's say we wanted to just have uh, the blues in my shirt and my tie really pop out, and that, that's going to be the color that we want to um, uh, to come forward, I guess, for maybe if we're doing an apparel shoot or something, um, and we want everything else to be gray. First thing that we're going to do is use selective color. You want your layer to be uh, selected. Go into Image, Adjustments, and uh, you want to, uh, I'm sorry, the term is Replace Color is the uh, option that you want to use. And um, so you can now use your dropper tool to select the color that you want to focus on. And it's selecting now, as you can see, the blue, the light blue. Um, you can adjust the fuzziness, which is sort of how far outside of that it's going to grab. Um, and let's just put it right in here. You'll have to play with this a little bit to get used to it, um, see where you like it. And now you can see a real-time result of what it's going to look like. You drag the hue to wherever you'd like it. So let's say we're going to make it red. We'll go somewhere in here and add a lot of saturation to really make it pop, really make it come out. Um, you can also make it lighter or darker. Um, I like it right about here. That looks pretty cool. So let's hit OK. So now uh, we've changed that one color to this other color. Um, next thing that we're going to do is add a new layer. Go back to this first one. Select the color that you like to keep uh, using your lasso tool. Go around. I'm doing this very roughly just to get the idea. You'll obviously want to take your time and be very, um, you know, very precise with that. Paste it into your new layer. Go back to your old layer. Go into Image, Adjustments, and Desaturate. So now we have the old layer, which is all grayed out, with the new layer on top, which is just that one color. And actually, we got the tie in there as well. We should have, we should have omitted that. But you could do that simply by um, cropping around it and uh, delete it out. Let's see. Let's do that right there. There you go. And now that's black and white as well. Um, so that is the basics for uh, taking out all of the colors in a Photoshop uh, image except for one. Just have that one image really pop and come out in the image. Uh, my name is Justin Conway and I hope that helps. Thanks.